James here at Northwest HVAC in Spokane, Washington. Today we're going to be going through the process of removing refrigerant, pulling a vacuum, and recharging a system without using a gauge manifold. Simply using two of the core tools and the two stubby refrigerant gauges you guys were issued in your standard tool set this year. Thank you. Okay, so I already pulled the cores and I have those stubby gauges on the side ports of my valve core tools. And I currently have the valves of the valve core tools off. I'm not going to show how to pull the cores. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there that show you how to do that. I know Gray Furnace Man has a really informative one. And it's also something we do in class. So mostly I just wanted to show this operation. Once you get the cores out, you hook your gauges on the side and you can actually do this process without manifold. Just a couple of hoses and your core tools and some stubby gauges. One thing I do want to warn is if you screw them on too tight, it'll compress the rubber seal, the O-ring that's inside the core tool, and it blocks the the passage so when you try to pull the core out it actually catches on it and it falls off the end of your core tool so what we recommend is you only screw it on there as tight as you have to to make it not leak and then pull your cores out and then you can put them on tighter at that point so I already have my cores out I have them right here there's one and then the other one just fell on the floor and uh, so those valves are off, those ports are open on the ends there, and I've already gone ahead and tightened them up. So I'm ready to do the recovery on this machine. I'll show you my setup when I get all set up. Okay, the setup. So as always, I like to go on the vapor side of the tank so I don't have to fight the dip tube that's in the liquid side. And I'm pulling off the suction side valve core. Uh, you can obviously only get one hose through this setup. Um, so I'm going to pull off the suction side so theoretically it'll pull it through the normal flow way. So it should suck everything through the metering device and pull it right on out the low side. Might take a little bit longer this way um, but probably not, uh, not enough longer to where it makes up the difference in how fast we can pull a vacuum. Um, off the low side obviously to the in of the machine and then off the out of the machine to the blue of the recovery tank and I'm not really going to talk about doing recoveries because I have another video for that so you can watch that same process um, open up there open up here open up there purge it through to the tank make sure liquid refrigerant is spraying out before you open that I already have my scale to zero, and away we go. Now, <clears throat> I'm changing out a compressor, and this really has nothing to do with the recovery process, but I wanted to demonstrate how this purge regulator works because it got blown out a lot last year, so I want to make sure we're clear on that. You want to start with your big regulator completely out so no pressure whatsoever. Uh, if you put too much pressure on that, you can see that little orange ball inside. What we want that to do is lift up about a PSI or so. Um, you know, one to two PSI. If you jack that pressure onto it, it there's a relief valve in there that'll pop out and then the, the disc in the release valve gets out of place. And uh, I gotta take it all apart and fix it. So what we wanna do is we wanna start with our big regulator completely backed out to zero and get this on. Then you wanna crack this just a hair on the purge regulator and then just start bringing in your nitrogen slowly till that ball starts to lift. There you go, you see that ball's lifted now? And there we have it. It's a little bit bouncy, but we, we brought that ball up. So it's floating on like one, two PSI of nitrogen. 
which we can control with the flow with this now. Now that we got the right input, we can turn that on and off with this. So what we're trying to do here is blow nitrogen through while I braze. So there's has a nitrogen environment. And I'm going to just leave those core tools on there where we had them for, to begin with. However, if you're welding on the line set, I think that's a little too close to your core tools. You should probably take them off and do your welding and purging just through the factory valves and then put those core tools back on when you're ready to pull a vacuum because I'm going to show you a vacuum set up here in a minute when I get this compressor changed out. Okay, so on the left there, I have my micron gauge plugged in over here, that valve open. On the right, I have my hose hooked up to it with that valve open. These gauges haven't moved since we started. And then in the middle, there's the display for my micron gauge. And what we want to do is the idea here is to pull vacuum from one side and then the other side should be about as far from that vacuum pump as we can get it. So you'll get a true reading of what your microns are. And if all goes well, shouldn't take too long and uh, we should be down under 500. So here we go. Okay, so I went ahead and put the same style of micron gauge that you guys are going to be using this year on there and then I got it down to the appropriate vacuum so I wanted to show what it would look like basically when you're all done and ready to put the charge in. Notice that I have this valve closed so that it isolates the micron gauge from the rest of the system. So what I'm going to do now is just weigh in the nine pounds two ounces that this unit needs and then I'm going to walk away because this is a communicating system and we got it calculated and it holds exactly that much refrigerant. However, on a normal system, if you were going to go about it, then we would then fire it up and check the subcooling. And I may do that still, but primarily this video is to show recover, pull a vacuum, recharge without the manifold. So that's what we're getting. Okay, so I have the tank upside down and turned on on the scale and the first thing you got to do or else you just wasted everything you just did is you have to purge before you open that valve over there so we're going to purge it right here where we hooked up we got our refrigerant in this yellow hose okay now we know we have nothing but refrigerant in that yellow hose. So I'm going to zero my scale. And then I'm going to open this valve right here. And let dump in the 9 pounds, 2 ounces that we need to charge this unit. So there you have it. I couldn't get the best camera angles, but I just wanted you guys to get the gist of it. I had to replace a compressor on one of our units anyway, so I figured it was a good time to demonstrate that. Um, put your tools on, take out the cores, have your stubby gauges on the side, and then you could use the valves that are on the core tools as your on-off valves, just like you would on a gauge manifold and just pick a side to work off of to pull refrigerant from and vacuum and stuff on and then put the other side can be all your meters micron gauge anything you might be monitoring hopefully you got some use out of this see you next time